my science and what I did right until the day I became CEO all started at Mount Sinai. This is more than a home. I mean, this has been my life. Mount Sinai was a new school and that appealed to me. And at the end of the day of interviewing, the Dean of Admissions said to me, would you like to come here? You've been accepted. And I was floored. And from that point on, it was history. I was fascinated with Freudian ideas from a very young age. By the time I went to college, I knew I was fascinated with mental illness, and I had still been reading even more about it. I was fascinated with the question of how does a brain get so dysfunctional, and it struck me that this had to be biological. I knew if I would go into medicine, it had to be to be a psychiatrist and to understand the biological basis of psychiatric disease. Someone connected me to Jack Peter Green, the chairman of pharmacology, and we hit it off very, very well. So from that point on, virtually every afternoon, and then summers, I worked in Sherwin Wilkes lab, working on the biology of neuropsychiatric conditions. I don't know what would have happened to me had those people not been there, because the number of people who were really approaching psychiatric disease that way who were applying neurobiology to psychiatry and to brain diseases at that time was nobody. And it set the foundation for what became my career. What we've achieved in 50 years is really quite marvelous and even unprecedented. Remember, we're a hospital that gave birth to a medical school. What makes me proud to be a Mount Sinai alumni is all the discoveries that have made a difference in people's lives, the therapeutics, the innovation, the really breakthrough science. Congratulations to us all on 50 years of an incredible trajectory.